Filipinos are so nice. Yeah. I know, I'm not a Filipina. Oh, what are you? Espanol. Espanol. Yeah. Okay. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. <laughs> Hey. Everybody says lechon is famous from Cebu. Magandang hapon. Magandang hapon. Magandang hapon. Magandang hapon. Oh, in the morning, magandang umaga. Are you guys making TikToks? Yeah. yeah. Can I make one with you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fresh coconut. Yeah. How much? 100 pesos. What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video in a beautiful country that I have been dying to visit for so many years. I'm in the Philippines. I actually got here last night. I'm in Cebu City. And right now, I'm about to explore this area for my very first time. Now I'm actually heading over to Fort San Pedro. I've heard many great things about that area. The fort itself is a very historical site here in the city. So I decided why not tune on in and share with you guys my first few hours of exploring Cebu City. Now right now I'm actually walking out of a huge shopping mall. This is the Robinson's Galleria. I'm actually staying at a hotel called the Summit Galleria. Very beautiful place. I actually showed up there on accident yesterday because of a Airbnb nightmare. I promise you guys I'm done using Airbnb. Airbnb is literally the worst and nothing but problems but I'll explain a little bit more about that later on today. Now the weather out here in Cebu is actually quite hot and last night it was actually a little bit cold so it's very confusing compared to the climate that we just experienced in Thailand the last few weeks where it was just extremely hot and humid last night it was actually very fresh but right now it is warm but it's nice I like it it's actually not too humid I've been told that it's rainy season right now I'm not sure if that is true or not but that is what uh, the taxi driver told me yesterday leaving from the airport over to the area that I'm in right now which I actually have no idea what the name of this area is but yeah this here is Cebu City looks a little moody looks like there might be some rain on the way you got a grab driver all kinds of taxis local buses right here but you know what I think we're actually gonna walk I think we're gonna walk and see what this city has to offer on foot well at least attempt it it does say that we are 25 minute walking from Fort San Pedro so let's see let's see if there's enough to keep us entertained throughout our walk here now I do want to point something out or tell you guys about something and that is the people the Filipino people have been so incredibly friendly since the moment we arrived I've been told that the Philippines is the land of some of the most precious people on this planet and I actually worked with a lot of Filipinos back in the US when um, when I was working my normal job I worked with a lot of Filipinos and they were all lovely people they love to eat love to have a good time and I remember around the holiday times that all the Filipinos at my job would gather around and celebrate together and always invite uh, myself and other people uh, that worked in the same spots to their homes for Christmas and New Year's because they always threw some huge parties uh, so yeah Filipinos amazing so far I can't wait to start in interacting with a lot of locals wow those buses look cool <laughs> I wouldn't mind jumping on one of those today so yeah we're gonna be interacting hopefully with a lot of Filipinos um, in this video and of course over the course of the next three weeks that I'm in the Philippines I'm gonna be making sure that I show you guys the most important part of the country which is the people so join me as we explore Cebu City all right it's only been a few minutes but right off the bat I'm feeling very warm already but yeah this area that I'm in right now actually looks like it might be a nice combination of like industrial and well, of course, like a shopping district because we just made it out of a huge mall. Oh, there's one of those Jeeps right now. I think those are what they call a jeepney. I'm not too sure. But I've watched a few, quite a bit of vlogs here in the Philippines and I'm pretty sure that those are the jeepneys, if I remember clearly. We'll have to ask somebody about that a little later on right now. Oh, wow, he was on a dirt bike. He got some scooter action. 
a lot of energy on the streets. Now, obviously, we're not in the big city. Um, the capital of Manila will be there in about a week and a half time. But I still have been told by many people that Cebu City is one of the larger cities in the entire country of the Philippines. Shell gas station. I wonder what petrol prices are like out here. Oh, and actually I can read it from here. It says 558 pesos, 628 pesos, and 646 pesos. I'm not sure if that's for a liter or for the gallon. We'll have to find that out later on today. Oh man, it's getting incredibly warm out right now. Incredibly warm. Hello. <laughs> I believe um, I was asking the driver yesterday for a couple advice on words that I should know. And the most important one that he told me, hello. <laughs> I'm telling you, the Filipinos are lovely. The most important one that he taught me was salamat, which means thank you. Okay, yeah, this definitely looks like an industrial area. Probably shouldn't walk that way. You know what? Let's continue on this way and who knows, maybe we'll just hop into a, a taxi and make our way over to the fort because it is extremely warm out today. Have a nice day. How can I get to San, uh, Fort San Pedro? I didn't know, sir. I didn't know the right Fort San Pedro, that way? That way. Thank you. All right. Huh? You too. Take care. <laughs> Lovely people. All right, so Fort San Pedro is this way. It was on the street that I was walking down. I looked on Google Maps, but it's kind of confusing, to be honest with you guys. According to the map of Cebu City, there's all kinds of roundabouts and one-way streets, and um, there was actually a bunch of roads that were closed down due to construction yesterday while we were driving around in the taxi, so we had to like veer off into different directions in order to make it to um, our hotel, which was actually only a straight shot from the nightmare of an Airbnb that we were staying in or checking into. You know what? Let's actually see if we can wave down a taxi. No, that one's full. I wonder if they have moto taxis here in the Philippines. I actually see a lot of police officers over in this direction. But man traffic time now right now it's actually um right now it's actually one in the afternoon so it's extremely busy out on the streets today but i have a feeling that it's only going to continue to get worse as the day goes on in most places in the world the traffic jam always starts between like 4 30 to like 6 when everybody starts getting off of work Yeah, I'm starting to sweat now. You know what, we're gonna hide underneath this tree and I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wave down a taxi and we're gonna just hop into a taxi and make our way over to the fort because this is brutal. But let me actually show you guys a little bit of these Filipino pesos while we're here. So this here is a 500 bill and it says Puerto Princesa and it has a parrot on it. Lim, Limandang Piso. So these are the Filipino pisos. And who's on the back? Benhino Aquino Jr. Pangulo NG Philippines. So this is 500, around 10 US dollars. And then here we have a 100 peso note, which has the Mayon volcano in the back and the whale shark. Very beautiful money. You always can tell that you're in a great country when the money looks beautiful. All right, you know what? Wow, there's people hanging off the back of that truck. The jeepney, I'm just gonna keep calling it a jeepney. If it's a jeepney, you let me know down in the comment section. But I have a feeling that that's the iconic jeepney. Now I could take a grab. Grabs are actually quite affordable as well. But, um, they do take a while to come and I really don't want to kill like a whole 10 minutes. Oh, there's a taxi right there. Taxi. Nope, that one's busy. Taxi. That one's busy too. 
policeman. Taxi! Hello. Hello! Can you take me to Fort San Pedro? Thank you! Oh man, it's very hot today. <laughs> Is the Philippines always hot? No. No? Oh, always hot. Very nice city, Cebu. <laughs> Are you from Cebu? Yes. It's a very nice place. A lot of traffic. <laughs> Salamat. Oh man. Tagalog. Tagalog? No, no, not not Tagalog. No, I don't. I I I only speak English and Spanish. You speak Spanish? Espanol? No. A lot of people in Cebu speak English though, and very well. I wonder if that's the same in all of the Philippines. I know here in the city though, everybody we've talked to has spoke incredibly good English. Is this the port? Yes. Port city? Yes, port. Yeah, I'm noticing a bunch of like 40 foot connexes. Oh, well, yeah, uh, Fort San Pedro is right at the port, huh? Come on, Chris, you should know better than this. Oh, look, the coconut man. <laughs> How do you say coconut in Tagalog? Uh, buko. Buko. I like the buko. Yeah, like there's all kinds of stores, little shops along the sides of the roads. Man, we actually should have continued walking. It looks very interesting around here. A Marlboro store. This looks like a very local neighborhood. I should have came walking, man. But yeah, I was definitely frying. And I have a feeling that right now we're going to make it to the fort a lot faster than if I would have been walking the entire way. And I made a new friend. What's your name, sir? Zerman. Zerman. Chris. Nice to meet you. I noticed that in Cebu City, all of the taxis are white. White taxis. Is there a yellow taxi here? Yes. Yeah? And black taxi. And black taxi. Oh, that's a black taxi. Oh, I see it over there on the corner. And a lot of motorcycles in the Philippines. The big trucks with all the people in the back, those are jeepneys. They're called jeepney? Oh, it's just called a big truck. Oh, okay. The bus is the modern jeep. The name is modern jeep. Modern jeep. Okay. first day in the Philippines so you know later on today we got to eat some good Filipino food what's the best Filipino food uh, adobo. adobo chicken adobo uh, like a pig. oh pig lechon okay everybody says lechon is famous from Cebu when do people eat lechon for the holidays or for dinner any day uh, holidays okay <laughs> oh, it's expensive. Lechon is expensive? How many pesos for the whole lechon? Uh, uh, seven or eight thousand. Seven or eight thousand, wow. How many people can eat from one lechon? Many people. Forty uh, people. Oh, okay. Forty people. Wow, you can have a lechon party here then. <laughs> Oh, is this the fort? <laughs> wow, it's very close. <laughs> you know how to make lechon? No. No? It's probably a special process, huh? Yes. A lot of work. I've seen pictures of the lechon. They put the whole pig with like a big rod in the mouth and comes out the back, huh? And it turns? How much do I owe you, sir? 61. 61. Okay. 
I'll have to check that out. Thank you. Salamat. Oh, thank you. Enjoy your day, sir. Yeah. Only 60 pesos. Not bad at all. You got good water. Okay. How much? Five zero. Five zero? Yeah. Very, very cold inside. Very hot. Yeah, I know. It's very hot. Okay. You know what? Ah. I don't have small money though. Okay, I have change. Oh, you have change. Okay. There you go. I need the water. Uh, I... Oh. Here, I help you. Uh, oh, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, okay. So, uh, you have change to entrance there. Oh, that's uh, the entrance. Entrance. Entrance there are 30 pesos. 30 pesos, okay. 50. 50. 100. 150. 150. 200. 400. 400, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, entrance fee. Okay, thank you. Enjoy your day, bro. Thank okay. you for the water. Also, enjoy. How do you say, um, how do people in Tagalog say good at, good afternoon? Good afternoon, um, magand, uh, magandang hapon. Magandang hapon. Magandang hapon. Magandang hapon. Oh, in the morning, magandang umaga. Magandang um, amaga. Umaga. Maga, mangandan omaga oh, in the morning, mangandan in the morning, hapon. In the afternoon, mangandan hapon. Mangandan in, uh, hapon. In the night, uh, mangandan gabi. Mangandan gabi. In the night. Thank you so I much, bro. Right. Salamat. Oh, man. I love it. I love the Philippines already. Okay, here we are. Fort San Pedro, Cebu City, Philippines. Oh, they're actually doing like some sort of performance over in this direction. Let's actually come check this out first and then we'll walk on over. But man, this whole plaza looks super beautiful, guys. So yeah, there you go. That's first impressions on how beautiful this area is. How beautiful the Philippines are. Oh, look, they're doing some dancing. Hmm. Yeah, there's a big statue up there. We'll go check that out as well. They must be training for uh, Dancing with the Stars or something. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Well, let's come check out the statue and then we'll jump on into the fort. Let me know. What are your guys' favorite places in the Philippines? What are some places that I should not miss when I'm here in this beautiful country? Now, one thing that I've um, always loved so much about the Philippines is the flag. I see it absolutely everywhere, especially in the U.S. at all the Filipino restaurants. And the flag is always incredibly beautiful. Or, I mean, always. It is incredibly beautiful. It's blue, red, has like a, a sun in the middle and some stars. It grabs all the attention though. Oh man, this is where people come to dance. Look, you got some other kids over in this area dancing. And this here is the statue. What is the statue of? I wonder. Oh man, I should have definitely put on some sunscreen this morning. It is hot. It's cooking out here today. The beautiful Filipino flag. All right, so it says that this here is... Oh man, this is like in Spanish. Look, obviously because, well, the Philippines was founded by the Spanish. So you find a lot of Spanish everywhere. This one here says, Primer gobernador de estas islas y fundador de esta ciudad. Oh, wow. So this is the first governor of the island and the founder of this city. But who is it? Oh, it says a name up there? I can't read that. I can't read the top line. But it doesn't look like there's actually anybody on the statue. Año de 1855, reinando Isabel II y mandando la pro. Yeah, mandan, um, it says that this is from the year 1855, Queen Isabel, Queen Isabel II, and mandando la pro. Interesting. I mean, it's a very beautiful statue, but there's nothing up top of it. All right, you know what? Um, we could walk around this park a lot longer, but then we're never gonna make it into the fort. So let's go inside and let's go explore Fort San Pedro. Oh, you know, 
I did say that the walk looked pretty interesting um, on the way here, but it is also incredibly hot. So I'm kind of glad that I didn't do that. The taxi driver saved our saved our butts, and he was also a very kind guy. So it was nice to be able to uh, jump into his taxi and chop it up for a little bit. Why not? Always makes for a great time. Now I'm actually going to look up some um, information about this Ford because I didn't do any proper research before coming here. I just kind of showed up and was like, you know what, I'm gonna wing it. I'm gonna take people's recommendations and then go see what they want, uh, what they recommend that I see. And everybody told me to come to this fort. So let's see what the Fort San Pedro is all about. And of course, I'm gonna use the handy dandy Google to help me out here. All right, so this here is the Fort San Pedro, and it says that the Fort San Pedro is a military defense structure in Cebu, Philippines, and it was built by the Spanish under the command of Miguel Lopez de Legazpi, the first governor of the uh, general of the Philippines. It is located in the area now called Plaza Independencia. Oh, so this must be Plaza Independencia, Independence Square, and it, it is in the heart of the pier area of the city. The original fort was made of wood and built after the arrival of Legazpi and his expedition. In the early 17th century, a stone fort was built to repel Muslim raiders. Today, the structure dates from 1738 and it is the oldest triangular bastion fort in the country. Seems like we came to a great place to kick off our first impressions video here in the Philippines. Wow, this is beautiful. Here we go, Fort San Pedro. All right, well, you know what? Hello, let's enter. A lot of tourists too. Everybody I've ever met that has been to the Philippines absolutely loves this place. All right, here there's actually a little plaque that says Fort of San Pedro. The Fort of Sa San Pedro, described in an official report of 1739, is a triangular in shape, is triangular in shape and made of stone and mortar. The three bastions are La Concepcion, San Ignacio de Loyola, and San Miguel Powder Magazine. Cool. All right, let's go inside. Oh, oh man, look. This is what the original fort looked like. The original structure of the fort, as I just read, was made out of wood. Wow, and the construction started in 1565. This is another picture of the fort from 1920. Wow, very historical place. Hello. Yes, good afternoon. Can I um, pay for an entrance right now? Yeah, 30 pesos. 30 pesos. From what country you are first? United States? Okay. Thank you so much. Yes, just by myself. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very nice. Okay, so we're inside of the fort now. 30 pesos. I'm not sure exactly what that is. I think it's less than a dollar, to be fair. All right. Wow, this place looks super beautiful. And there's this tent that I'm standing under now that makes it incredibly fresh here as well. Fort San Pedro. All right, let's walk around and explore the fort a little bit. Why not? I can hear there's some people playing some music. Maybe we'll hit that down on the way on the way back down. But I want to go up there and kind of like go stand where we just saw those girls looking down from that said hi to me. Comfort room. Oh, this is like the bathroom. Nice little place to cool off. I love visiting historical sites like this, especially um, sites that are of great significance to every country. Wow, this is awesome and so peaceful too. So relaxing. Oh, those are ducks. 
How do you say ducks in Tagalog? Pato. Pato. Oh, like in Spanish. Ah, <laughs> oh, son patos. That's awesome. It's the same word in Spanish. Yeah, I think I think that a lot of the words in Tagalog are probably going to be um, very similar, if not exactly the same, to Spanish. Man, I'm going to have a great time here in the Philippines. Everybody speaks, well, a lot of people have a pretty good understanding of Spanish, but then also a lot of people speak very well English as well. So the videos should be pretty entertaining and very informative. Oh man, this is cool. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the fort in Cartagena, Colombia. In Cartagena, Colombia, there's a fort. Kind of similar to this, a lot larger in size, but um, same similar structure as far as like these little um, lookout post, lookout towers and the cannons damn this is cool wow the city of Cebu I'm impressed you're beautiful palm trees I wonder if there was palm trees up here when they constructed the fort or do you think this is something that they put here to you know add the tropical vibes to the fort Man, this is impressive. Let me know what you guys think of this fort down in the comments section. You know what, let's try and see when this fort was abandoned by the Spanish online because I know you guys are probably just as interested in that as I am. It's okay, so it says here that the fort served as the nucleus of the first Spanish settlement in the Philippines. <laughs> During the Philippine Revolution at the end of the 19th century, it was attacked and taken by Filipino revolutionaries. And it was used as a stronghold for the Filipino revolutionaries. As I mentioned below downstairs, construction started here in 1565. 1565. That means that this fort had been around for almost 200 years before the United States was ever even a country. Very impressive. Now, the date of construction of the stone fort is uncertain, although there are claims that a Jesuit Antonio Campioni built a stone fort in 1630 at the gates of the fort bears that date, 17, that date 1738 together with the arms of Castile and Leon. I'm very confused right now. Maybe I shouldn't be reading this off of Google. <laughs> All right, now it also says that Fort San Pedro became a part of the American Warwick Barracks during the American regime. From 1937 to 1941, the barracks was converted into a school where many Su Subuanos received their formal education. During World War II, from 1942 to 1945, Japanese residents of the city took refuge between these walls. When the battle to liberate the city of Cebu from the Imperial Japanese forces was fought, the fort served as an emergency hospital for the wounded. From 1946 to 1950, Fort San Pedro was an army camp. After 1950, the Cebu Garden Club took over and fixed the inner parts and converted it into a miniature garden. Well, that answers the palm trees and all the beautiful um, flowers and rose bushes that are found in here. It was converted into a garden in 1950. What a place, what a place. So there you go, a little bit of history, uh, courtesy of Google, about the forts of San Pedro. Now, man, Filipinos love to dance. I'm noticing that. So this here is the window where the girls were saying hi to me from earlier. You know what, the water salesman was right. I think I need my water right now. It's very hot. Are you guys making TikToks? Yeah. Can I make one with you? Yeah. Yeah, let me make a TikTok with you guys. Can I put this right here? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to dance that good though. No. What do we do? Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, we gotta start at the same time, right? First pin. <laughs> Was that good? Well, nice to meet you guys. I noticed that I noticed that all the Filipinos love to dance. Yeah. Filipinos love to dance. Well, take care, guys. Oh, make sure you tag me in that. Are you posting it or not good enough? Post. Post. Post? Okay. All right. I'm gonna look for it. Bye, guys. You want my TikTok? Here, I show you my TikTok. Oh, yes, I'm a TikToker too. No, I'm not a TikToker, but this is my TikTok. Woo! Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, tag me, please. I just made a bunch of Filipino friends. First day in the Philippines. <laughs> Do a lot of Filipinos like TikTok? Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Well, take care, guys. Thank Bye. You. Bye. <laughs> oh, man. This is going to be a fun trip, I tell you what. Yeah, you guys just watched me get down on my TikTok moves. I bet you didn't know I had it in me, huh? Yeah, old TikToker Chris. Changing the game. No. But um, seriously, I started posting on TikTok a few months ago and I don't make dance videos. I just post clips from my YouTube videos and for some reason TikTok's been working out. I think I'm at 150,000 subscribers or followers, whatever you call them, TikTok friends in just a few months. So not too shabby for a platform that I was staying away from for a long time because for many about two, three years while everybody was on the TikTok hype, I was like, I'm not downloading TikTok. Oh man, I left my water over there. You know what, it's brand new, maybe they'll drink it. It's fine, I'll purchase another one. Um, but yeah, now I'm a TikToker, basically is what I was trying to get to. Oh man, I think I found the freshest spot in the fort. This is beautiful. All right guys, well, here we are. The beautiful fort, San Pedro in Cebu City and yeah as you can tell now it's very much a garden there's all kinds of different plants um, that can be found everywhere beautiful trees it's a great place to come relax make TikTok videos yeah all kinds of fun stuff all right you know what I have definitely sweated out my entire shirt already hello Hi. I have sweated out my entire shirt already hey. and hey. hello Oh, nice cameras, guys. Yeah, I have sweated out my entire shirt, so... Um, I think it's definitely time to drink some water and hydrate a little bit. I don't know who I was kidding when I said that. It's not that warm out here these days in the Philippines. But it very much is. Oh, we got some live music over here. Oh, this is nice. We have a well for the Virgin here. Pozo de la Virgen. Nuestra Señora de los Remedios. Oh, people throw money in there. I don't know who started the whole... Oh, it's a wishing well. Man, I just gave my only coin to the people there. We'll have to come back and make a wish later on. I love the music. What an amazing place. I know I keep saying that, but it's because it's it's very impressive. All right, let's get on out of here. Oh, it's getting busy now. You know what? That that um that song is a very famous song. I can't think of the name of it right now, right off the back of my head, but it's a very famous song. <laughs> my friend. No, no, not another one right now. Thank you. I'll get one later on. Thank you, bro. Okay, bro. 
You know what I could go for right now? A coconut. Well, I come back. I come back with my girlfriend later. Take care, bro. Hello, is that coconut to drink? Yeah. What's the price? Uh, fresh coconut. Fresh coconut. Yeah. How much? 100 pesos. 100 pesos? Yeah. Okay, let me do one. Over there. Okay. Yeah, because or else we get hit by a car. Buki, right? No, what's the name in Tagalog? Buki. No. The taxi driver told me and I already forgot. Yeah. What's the name in Tagalog? Yeah. Filipino name. Coconut. Yeah, coconut. Batong. Filipino. Batong. Yeah, batong. Filipino batong. Yeah. Oh man, that's straw? full. Straw, straw. Yeah, please, straw. There you go, sir. Wow, this is really nice. Is this from Cebu? No. Hold on. He's a good salesman. Oh, I thought they were coming. <laughs> he did too. All right. Mm. Wow, this is one big ass coconut. Thank you, sir. This is a huge coconut. You know what? I'm going to have to follow him because I don't know how to dispose of this. Oh, there's a trash can right here. Oh, man. There's nothing more fresh, refreshing than a coconut. Now, every time I drink a coconut like that and throw it away, all of you guys tell me, Chris, you're supposed to cut it open and eat the inside. Guys, yeah. I'm not really a big fan of eating the inside, though, to be fair. I'd rather drink the juice, drink the milk, or the coconut water, whatever you guys call it, and then throw it away. It's weird because in some places of the world, they call it coconut milk that's inside the coconut. In other places, they call it coconut water. Let me know what you guys call it here in the Philippines. And, well, yeah, guys, I think that's gonna wrap up our little first impressions video here in, the, in Cebu City. So far, I'm very impressed. It is, in fact, very hot but I'm excited and looking forward to all of the fun adventures that we're gonna get into here in the Philippines however I always like to record my first impressions of a country I like to record when I first leave the hotel on the very first day not only to show you guys what I think of a place for the first time but also to document my memories because that's what life's all about I love documenting my memories, sharing these videos with my family, my mom, my grandma. We all have so many Filipino friends growing up in Los Angeles. There's a huge Filipino community. And um, even my post office man, shout out to you, Peter. He's been our post office man for like 20 years. He's Filipino and we've all been dying to visit the Philippines our entire lives. So I can't believe I'm here. I'm so excited to be here in this beautiful country. And I look forward to sharing with you guys so many more memories from the Philippines. The land of beautiful, friendly people. And lechon, which we need to go on the hunt for. We gotta go on the hunt for a nice lechon. Oh, they're dancing too. We need to go on the hunt for a nice lechon before we get on out of here. Actually, you know what? Let me come over here and show you guys this bridge because I've seen many pictures of this bridge before. And I had no idea it was here by the fort. So let's actually take the time to walk over there and check it on out. Oh man. I think after this, I'm gonna go hide out in a mall because I am melting. Okay, so this is the bridge. What is the name of this bridge called? I forget. I just read about it yesterday. Oh. I don't think you can exit this way. Hmm. But let me see what the name of this bridge is called. Oh man, I should have put on sunscreen this morning. It is so hot. Alright. I'm just going to type in Cebu City Bridge. Wow, why are they yelling? Cebu City Bridge. 
Oh, it's called the Cebu Cordova Link Expressway. Very cool. And this here is the Cebu Veterans Memorial. This monument, an eloquent oblation like hands reaching for heavens. Sofo in supplication stands for the noble living and the noble dead whose dreams and hopes shall in the end hopefully find reward in an enduring freedom from all kinds of tyrannies, suppressions, fear, and wants. Wow. Rest in peace to all of the Cebu veterans. I always love visiting veteran memorials. I'm a veteran myself. Um, I was in the United States Army, for those of you guys who don't know. And I always, you know, love to show my respects and visit um, memorials around the world. Unfortunately, I didn't know that that one existed there, but I'll come back here and um, bring Gladys to show her this memorial. Gladys is actually out right now making a video herself. The thing is, is we both have separate YouTube channels and we both like to get lost and do our own thing um, when we visit places. That way our videos come out completely different than one another. All right, guys. Well, oh no, I'm getting distracted here now. Hello, how are you? Thank you. <laughs> Everybody says hello, welcome. But yeah, I keep getting distracted. I'm like a, um, hello. I'm like a, a walking ADHD bubble. I get so easily distracted even though I just got done telling you guys, I'm taking you to see the bridge. So let's go see the bridge. And then after this, I gotta put this down. I'm dying. I see why she's walking around with the umbrella. You need one of those right now. You definitely need one of those bad boys. Oh, what is this? The National Museum of the Philippines, Port of Cebu. Malacañan Sa Sugbo. Let me know what you guys think of the Philippines so far, um, based off this first impressions video. And if this is a country that you've been wanting to visit for such a very long time, let me know down in the comment section because I hope you guys actually get to come on out here and experience this. I've been wanting to come to the Philippines for such a very long time and I've traveled all the way around the world and still, it's taken me this long to get here. I'm kind of sad about that right now. I have a feeling that this is a place I could spend months in. Um, but yeah, guys, whew, you gotta make sure you come out here in the right, right time of year as well because it is an oven. Let me know if you guys are still here at this what is it 40 42 minute mark let me know if you guys are still here at the 42 minute mark i know you guys always tell me chris i want to see longer videos but when the weather's this brutal sometimes it makes it extremely hard uh to keep filming especially for the camera the camera's like yo man put me away please i'm dying and so is my body <laughs> but i think it's been a good lap Hello! <laughs> Man, Filipinos love the camera. I'm gonna have a good time in this country. I'm so excited to be here. What a place, man. Wow, what a beautiful place. Look at this. Man, this is awesome. It's gonna be a little windy right now, guys, but... That's the Cebu, Cebu Cordova Bridge. Dang, that is a massive bridge. Incredible. Hello. Wow, that is incredible. I see why everybody says you have to come to this bridge. This is amazing. Yeah, it is a real easy here. What is, what what's the name of this one? Cebu Cordova? Expressway? Yeah, it's way right here. Right here. Wow, it's very nice. It's very nice. Is this new? New. How many years? A long time ago. Oh, a long time ago. So it's new, but it was made a long time ago. I like it. The air feels nice, huh? Cordova. 
Wow, beautiful place. Deer. Deer. Hello. Oh, that's the port. That's the port. Okay. Yeah. Are you from Cebu? From Samar. From Samar. Wow. I came from Samar. Filipinos are so nice. Yeah. I know, I'm not a Filipina. Oh, what are you? Espanol. Espanol. Yeah. Okay. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. <laughs> Boricua, Puerto Rico. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Puerto Rico in the house. Yeah. Puerto Rico. Awesome. What's your name? Janet. Janet? Yeah. Oh, nice to meet you, Janet. Now you live in Cebu. Since 2020. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. Man, such a nice What's place. Your name? My name's Chris. Chris. Yeah. Yeah. Janet. Do you swim? Huh? Do you swim? Do I like to swim? Yeah. You swim here? Yeah. No way. No, I don't want to swim right now. Why? I didn't bring my swim clothes. Oops. You jump in like that? Yeah. No way. Why? Is it very dirty? I don't know. You swim here? Yeah. Nothing. It's not very dirty because it's good for your body. Yeah, it's not that dirty. Yeah. Huh, it makes for a great place to swim. Yeah, you have to swim there. Wow, a lot of boats. Yeah, a lot of boats. Where do you live? In the capital. Yeah. Manila. Manila. Oh, okay. Huh? You want to eat? Yeah. Oh, okay. Here. I'll give you something to eat. It's <laughs> good to eat here. Your date? Here. A bit. You have to date me? Huh? You have to date me. You want me to date you? Yeah. <laughs> you like you like American men? Yeah, America. I like it. What What's your favorite kind of man? Like you. Oh, like me. Strong man. Strong man. With beard. Filipino girls yeah. like this? Yeah. But you said you weren't Filipino. Ah, you're, Espa you're Espanol. Yeah. Uh, Espanol. <laughs> okay, Janet. It was nice meeting you. Maybe we'll date in the next life. <laughs> Bye, Janet. Bye. <laughs> You dance reggaeton? Yeah. You like to dance reggaeton? Yeah, Salsa? Salsa. Okay. okay. Well, I'll see you later. Maybe we'll dance later. Yeah. Bye, Janet. <laughs> oh, man. That was definitely like one of them crazies for sure. Super nice lady, though. The man. Yeah. She was like, oh, I want to date you and then start grabbing my arm. I was like, all right, it's time for me to get on out of here. Keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? But guys, this is the Philippines, man. Amazing place, amazing vibes. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. For now, I'll leave you guys with views of this bridge. Later, guys. It's been real. It's been fun. I'll see you guys again very, very soon for another one from this beautiful country. Later, guys. Oh, man. Janet's back down by the water. She's, dude, she's, she's vibing, though. She's living her best life. Bye, Janet. <laughs> Bye. Enjoy your day. Yes. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Later, guys. You were always smarter.